how did this project get started? I have a long-standing interest in the impact of empires, ancient empires, on the modern gene pool. So do we carry traces of famous empires throughout history, the Assyrians, the Sumerians, the Phoenicians in this case, Genghis Khan? Do we carry traces of, of those individuals, those groups, in our blood, in our DNA? And so when I, I think about these historical problems, I think in terms of biological ancestry. Are people living today in a particular part of the world related to these, these great empires in some way? Did the empires have a genetic impact on a particular region? Um, and so in, in thinking about these very general uh, ideas, uh, I talked to a lot of people, a lot of archaeologists and a lot of geneticists who work in various parts of the world. And I started a discussion several years ago with my friend Pierre Zulua, who I met at Harvard University when he was over there doing some work at the School of Public Health. And we started discussing Lebanon and the Phoenicians, and he was very excited about the idea that we could use some of these new technologies, in particular the Y chromosome, this piece of male DNA that traces a purely male line of descent. Uh, the, the accuracy that we can only obtain with, with these sorts of new tools to trace the, the origin and the spread of the Phoenician Empire from his homeland, Lebanon. And so we, we put together a grant proposal and it was funded by the CRE, the Committee for Research and Exploration in National Geographic, who were quite excited about the project. And what you are reading about is, is at least some of the results from that study.